symptomatically I've seen business owners that when they dislike their business because of this pressure to earn, they take massive risk in investing because they want to get there quickly. And that was definitely me. Like, and I will again, stick my hand up in here and going like, we bought uh, like 10 houses in the space of two years. <laughs> so just to say touch aggressive. <laughs> A little bit aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not actually like that anymore. Yep. I really look at it to now and I go like, I am much more of the idea I want to stay rich. And I know that's a, a very cliche word or stay wealthy or stay financially independent really is what I should have said there rather than like the endless pursuit of taking more and more risk uh, for no reason. Yeah. So like that's definitely changed in a huge way for me is like I'm much more patient than I was towards like acquiring assets. And I only want to like, uh, what is it? I want to be like a vulture. I want to be like waiting in the skies for like really good opportunities and just picking off things in the right timing rather than this, I've got to buy a property every year or 10 every two years type mentality. This is now going to be a 60 second snippet with a picture of you with a vulture, <laughs> which is like just hovering over like these investment properties. But I, but I agree, like to the point where well, I, I want to always come back to these sort of deposits. It's like, yes, you bought 10 properties in a two year period. And is that replicatable for a lot of people listening to this? No, <laughs> probably not. However, I, I don't know, man, like we're business owners. Like if you've got the, I think this is where business owners get this unfair advantage. A lot of people fair. who are employed on fixed incomes would struggle with that. But if you've had some good years in business and the ability to earn more, it's like you can do that. You can totally do that. Completely fair. No, that's a fair comment. The, it's more coming back to like the, the deposits into the wealth. But then it's like, well, now you've worked hard to build those deposits. Why would, why would you risk them? Like if you're going hard to start chipping away at it, it's almost like the, and especially the way that Charlie, you and I talk about sort of the personal wealth investment side, it is, it's pretty safe. Like we do real big risk off strategies of like decent deposits and easy sort of scalable properties that seem to have like good metrics that sit behind it. But that's the whole point is so that we can focus on the business. And so like, why would you risk all of these things that are defining what your financial independence is or what your financial independence is working towards, like buying these investments just because you want to get there quicker. Because it comes back to that conversation that we had just a, a second ago, Charlie, around like, well, if you sold your business for $40 million and then went and sort of sat on some beaches and stuff like that and you came back, what, what are you going to do? We're probably going to run business again. Awesome. So run the business you want to run and then fill the bucket as you go. Um, one of the big things for me that changed and it's, yeah, it's kind of like that that journey, like the wealth journey I appreciate more. And I think of it like sort of chess, if you will, where I'm, I feel like I'm more assessing the board and I'm willing to accept cash in a bank account because of all of the things that I can play. And that's from a wealth perspective as well as a business perspective. So I know you and I have had conversations around let's go a little bit harder in business and we won't invest a heap more in wealth creation. Why? Because we think that that might be a really good investment for us right now versus going and buying more particular types of property or particular types of anything else. And I don't want to financial info, uh, information disclaimer. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't them. actually give any financial <laughs> advice. Be, to be careful, you're dancing on a thin line here. <laughs> yeah, and so for me personally, and I know we've, we've spoken about it, like that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, I why would I risk this great, comfortable financial position because I want to get to financial independence quicker. I'm just like, no, I just want to continue to put deposits into it. And so for me, the way that I've also done wealth has changed or the way that I approach wealth creation has changed the more that I earn, the more that I have, because it's like, it's not this unnecessary pressure for it anymore. It's already there. How do I just continue to build on top of it, build on top of it, build on top of it, because it will continue to grow. You know that saying right, where like money doesn't buy happiness? You know, people used to say that. And do you know what? I, when I heard that, I always used to say, yeah, I'd go, but that's because you've got money, right? <laughs> and I, I go, uh, what was it? You know, money doesn't buy happiness, but but I'll check. Yeah, yeah. I always saw the one, but, I, but it certainly helps. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I completely agree on that one. But the the point being is, I, I actually look at that and like, it would be easy for me to sit here and say, is like, oh, you know, like I really wish I could look back and like slow down and enjoyed the journey of buying property more because it's a lot of fun experiences and like I did certainly rush at times to the next one. But I'd almost say is like, I really do feel that if you have the ability to be financially independent at an earlier point in your life, you should pursue that because mm. it's like it does have a significant difference in outcome. Now, of course, like without taking stupid risk or wipeout events, like doing it in a safe way that is achievable is probably the key construct around that. But it's like it is a very, very worthy pursuit here when it comes to wealth. But it will change for you. Like once you hit that, you'll view wealth in a very, very different way. Hey, fellow business owner, if this topic and value-packed short video has resonated with you at all and you want to dive deeper into being a full stack business owner, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.